It's Jungler. Hey. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so we are here, of course, I am with Crumbs, uh, and I'm here to talk to you about that really kind of great game you guys played to finish out the regular season here. Um, talk to me coming into this one, because you've now won four of your last five games, and just talk to me about what it's been like as Renegades coming to this last push here to get out of 10th. Well, especially against Echo Fox, we knew that their match actually had no meaning in their standing, so we thought that maybe they were going to be picking a lot of fun stuff. We saw them practicing Heimerdinger and Vladimir, like, oh boy, they're going to just whip out the weirdest stuff. How are we going to deal with it? And they ended up just playing normal, which is great, because that's really what I would have preferred them to do, just so that we get a little bit more practice. But getting the wins is just a little bit more of momentum and more stage practice as a new squad. And I mean... I, in my point of view, I played pretty poorly. I think we did the macro game well. I was told we did the macro game well, but hopefully that's enough to overshadow the picks that we get giving them over and over and over. Sure, so a few small mistakes from you guys, but overall you've been still climbing up very steadily here. Out of 10th now, you're either going to be tie-breaking for 8th or maybe just sitting in 9th, maybe tie-breaking for 9th based on how the rest of the games go. Um, tell me what this means to you guys, though you are improving, getting a better seed in the promotion relegation tournament. Uh, well, the improvement for us is just making sure that we can be ready for the promotion, and hopefully if we get out of that, it's, it's like a second lease at life. We get another chance at a split and see how well we can do and really, really give it our all because I don't think we gave it our all the first time around. And then this time, if it happens that we can make it back, then I'm sure we'll do a lot better. So you said you're going to do a lot better. How, how good are you going to be? Seraph said last week with the number two team in NA, then he kind of couched that a little bit when we talked to him yesterday. How good is Renegades now? I'd probably, I wouldn't say a standing. I'd say that if we get it back, we'd probably be like the hardest working team, to be honest. I don't know about the standings, but we'd be one, the ones putting more effort than anybody else. And we've been doing triple scrim blocks for like three weeks nonstop. It's brutal. It's like literally every single hour of the day you got practice and maybe you have 30 minutes of break time combined between every single set and it's a lot of practice and you were all willing to do it and so I can't promise to stand this but I'm promised that we will be working very hard instead. Well crumbs that hard work has paid off for you guys four and one in your last five congratulations on the win we will see you maybe in a tie break at the end of the day we will see you in the promotion relegation tournament congrats on the win we'll see you later Let's start down to the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Freak. Before we get into the game, we want to take another look at that final fight, the replay. Mm -hmm. uh, pull this up because Renegade's on the back foot, kiting it out pretty properly. Jet, yeah. walk me through this. Game deciding fight, actually, and it looked like Echo Fox was going to get a nice pick out here because they'd pushed Renegade's out of the base and they'd kind of bought themselves some time. And this was the biggest mistake when they decided to continue chasing with Sivir still up. Yeah, look how spread out Fox is right now. They, they still have Keith trying to get around Trundle Pillars. Keith still hasn't gotten a single auto off, and they already took out the front line. Good Grog Assault there on the backside. Yeah, from exactly. Crumbs as well. And yeah. then once you're against the Sivir team, with Lulu, there's so much speed ups to Woo. chase you back down. And they, you know, after the front line's gone, they can chase down everyone. Yeah, and it's Woo. obviously 43 minutes in, so those 80 carries can two-shot each other. Uh, it was just a really sloppy chase through. Maybe they thought the, the Valkyrie to Final Spark from Lux, maybe mm -hmm. it looked like they killed them and they thought they had Corky yeah. down or something. But uh, if if not, there wasn't a very good reason to do that engage because that was still an even gold game up until that fight, which was a pretty poor choice by Fox to go in. But Renegades ultimately deserved the win there. Yeah, their team was spread out uh, over about two screens worth of... Uh... Keith trying to walk around pillars. <laughs> right. Ultimately, so then let's talk about what this means, right? Because Renegade's picking up yet another win with this roster. So their record with their current roster is pretty phenomenal. Uh, but moving towards a tiebreaker and a possible eighth place finish, considering that they were 10th just two weeks ago. I mean, you saw it on Crumb's face. Mm -hmm. He's definitely happy to have seen the improvement. You can tell that the winning is fueling them towards their journey back into the LCS. Uh, you know, on the side of Fox... They're going to end up in seventh place, but I actually think that, the, you know, you pointed to a chat that that was yeah. one mistake that kind of was the picture of the whole game. Uh, Fox had multiple misplays and, and, and uh, miscalculations throughout the game that didn't necessarily speak to, you know, a yeah. team that would finish above Renegades in the standings. Yeah, even in the lane swap, there were a couple of uh, weird choices where they did kind of make faults. Um, I mean giving up uh, an extra turret for a Rift Herald, not optimal, giving over a lot of extra um, minion waves, but then mm -hmm. they turn it around with Froggen with a max range snipe on his Lux laser to grab first blood, you know, make up like half of that gold difference. Yeah, and Echo Fox, it's kind of the story of their season when they do play some of these games. They aren't playing the cleanest games. They give up a lot in lane swaps, 
But KFO, Froggen, and Keith are just so good at farming that they right. can kind of make a bad strategic decision and then just last hit minions at a higher percentage than you and keep the gold pretty close. Right, okay, so they end up being even in gold, maybe being able to take a late game team fight, and that's how they yeah. come away with the victories. You know, running back through the tiebreak scenarios, Kobe, you, Kobe, your beloved <laughs> step ten, one yeah, is complete <laughs> of the of the ten yeah. game possibility is still alive. Renegades picking that up. We're gonna have Cloud Nine versus Team Liquid next. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, I think the big one that we'd have to look forward to then is the Dignitas upset over CLG, which mm -hmm. is required to make this happen. But that's what makes that bottom side of the standings so exciting. Because with the Dignitas win. That keeps Renegades and Dignitas tied. Yeah. And that will really shake up, you know, the bottom of the standings. And I think getting to see all those teams play again would give us a much better understanding of how they will perform in the promotion clear tournament picture. come time. Mm -hmm. It will be a pretty clear picture as far as going to the promotion tournament. And it's it's kind of a strange joy watching the 8th, ninth, and 10th place team <laughs> just battle it out for those important seeds at the end. Yeah, I mean, the games are definitely long, and you get to see them <laughs> battle it out for a while. I get to see them for a long time. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I think that's going to do it for game one of the day. Stick around because when we come back, we'll see if Cloud9 can take control of second place or if Liquid will play spoiler. And a few minutes ago, we saw them backstage getting in the zone for the game ahead. So don't go anywhere because we'll be right back.